Chinese Christians receive Bibles for the first time. With as many as 130 million reported Chinese Christians and the continuing explosive growth of the underground church, there are now more Christians in China than members of the Communist Party. The Chinese government's persecution of Christians has only led to even more church growth, causing the Communist Party to now target the Bible itself. Chinese are no longer content with um, all of these attempts to try to forcibly get Christians to deny their faith. And so now they've just taken it to a new level where they're trying to rewrite the scripture and to confuse them and to um, prevent them from becoming Christians. In one example from a high school textbook, a Communist Party revision of John chapter 8 about the woman caught in adultery says, Jesus once said to the angry crowd who was trying to stone a woman who had sinned, he who is without sin among you, let him cast a stone at her. When his words came to their ears, they stopped moving forward. When everyone went out, Jesus stoned the woman himself and said, I am also a sinner. Yes, the next superpower will be China along with Russia and China will slay the Christians. Now again, I'll say this. I'm not talking about the Chinese people because I love them from the bottom of my heart. I do and I mean it. I'm talking about the governmental system of China. It is absolute evil. You know what their symbol is? The dragon. Oh, the dragon in the Holy Bible is Satan himself. That is their symbol. And you know, on Chinese New Year, they come with this dragon in the streets with the, with the drums and everybody's excited and happy. Welcoming the dragon. Well, congratulations. You just welcome Satan into your life. What dragon? What foolishness? It is an absolute communist party to the core. An atheistic ideology to the core. They believe in nothing but themselves. They will kill their own father, their own mother. They don't give one penny about no one. The government. Very vicious.